Curious about how much money Call of Duty players are making? I'll be breaking down the earnings of Optic Formal, Seth Scuppy Abner, and Ian Crimson Exporter using esports earnings.com data. Subscribe to my channel, Zico Tart One, for more esports salary breakdown and analysis in the world of esports. Matthew Piper, aka Formal, aka Optic Formal, won in Call of Duty and Halo. Starting off with his online career in 2014, he earned $5,907.50 from 11 tournaments, and that was 0.5% of the total prize pool that year. He got first in Ghost, but mostly in AW. 2014 on land, $23,852.8 tournaments. That was 2.23% of the total prize pool. On land from 2011 to 2013, he earned $28,075. 2015, on line, $9,770 from 29 tournaments, almost 1% of the total prize pool. A lot of first places online that year playing Advanced Warfare. On land, he earned $89,000 from 14 tournaments, and that was 8.32% of the total prize pool. Highest earning event, MLG World Finals, and made $25,000. 2016, on line, he earned $7,500 from three tournaments, and that was 0.7% of the total prize money. 2016 land he earned 65,539 for nine tournaments and that was 6.12% of the total prize pool. He got first place six events that year and his highest earned event was NACWL Stage 1 playoff. In 2017 online Matthew Piper earned $2,250 from six tournaments and that was 0.21% of the total prize pool on land that year. $292,300 from 10 tournaments and he got first place CWL Championship in Infinite Warfare that year getting him $150,000. 2018 online he didn't get anything. 2018 on land, he got $68,000 from seven tournaments, or 6.3% of the total prize pool. Fortunately, he didn't bring home any first places that year. His highest placing was second. 2019 online, he brought home $7,312.50 from three tournaments, almost 1% of the total prize pool. 2019 on land, he brought home $64,625 from seven tournaments, that was 6% of the total prize pool. CWL Fort Worth, $25,000 that he earned at that event. 2020 online, he got $143,650 from nine tournaments, and that was 13.42% of the total prize pool. He got first place at week eight in Seattle. 2020 land, he got 12,000 from two tournaments, 1.12% of the total prize pool. 2021 online, Matt earned 26,000 from four tournaments, and that was 2.4% of the total prize pool. On land, he earned $53,650 from four tournaments. That was 5.01% of the prize pool that year. 2022 online, he earned 23,750 bucks from three tournaments, and that was 2.2% of the total prize pool. First place in three Halo Infinite events. And 2022 on land, he got 145,500 from three tournaments playing Halo Infinite that year, getting first place in two land events, and that was 13.6% of the total prize pool that year. Finally, 2023 online, $1,500 from one tournament, and that's 0.14% of the total prize pool. They have most definitely won some events this year, but as of right now, top 100 council players of all time earning almost six at eighth, earned $1,070,182.18, and his highest paid game was Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Moving on to the king, otherwise known as Seth Scumpy Abner, otherwise known as Optic Scumpy, otherwise known as Optic Scumper, otherwise known as Scump. 2011 online, Scump earned 2,500 from one tournament. 2011 on land, he earned 8,300 from six tournaments, 0.7% of the total prize pool on land. Two first places in Black Ops that year. 2012 online, he earned 1,900 from two tournaments. 2012 on land, he earned $6,148.30 from seven tournaments, and he got first place in five events. 2013, he didn't get anything online, but he earned 34,825 bucks from five tournaments on land and that was 2.94% of the total prize pool not bringing home any first places unfortunately 2014 online he brought home $55,358 and 75 cents from 12 tournaments bringing home multiple first places on land in 2014 though he brought home $36,000 even from five tournaments and that was 3.03% of the total prize pool since that year that year his highest bag brought home was playing Call of Duty Championship played Ghost and brought home $30,000 2015 online he brought home $9,531 and 25 cents from 33 tournaments and that was 0.80% of total prize pools. A lot of tournaments just to bring home $10,000. 2015 online brought home $89,000 even from 14 tournaments and that was 7.5% of total prize pool. A bunch of first places that year. MLG World Finals as well. Kadi W he got first brought home $25,000. 2016 online he earned $7,500 $550 from 4 tournaments and that was 0.64% of total prize pool. Got first 3 times. On land he brought home $65,539.38 from 9 tournaments. He got first place five more times that year on land in 2017 online 2250 from six tournaments and that was 0.19 percent of the total prize pool much of first places that year but one second place 2017 on land he brought home 267,250 bucks from eight tournaments and that was 22.52 percent of the total prize pool getting four first places one of those being at the cwl championship in 2017 in infinite warfare getting him hundred and fifty thousand dollars 2018 online scum brought home two thousand five hundred and forty one dollars and sixty seven cents
6 from 7 tournaments. Multiple first places that year playing Black Ops 4. Land in 2018, Skump brought home $69,875 from 7 tournaments and that was 5.89% of the total prize pool, getting first in the CWL Las Vegas Open. 2019 online, Skump brought home $400 from 1 tournament. 2019 on land, he brought home $76,625 from 6 tournaments and that was 6.46% of the total prize pool. 2020 online, he brought home $162,125 from 14 tournaments, 13.66% of the total prize pool. He got first place three times on land. He brought home $12,000 from two tournaments and that was 1% of the total prize money in that year. 2021 online, he brought home $160,500 from 10 tournaments and that was 13.53% of the total prize pool that year. He got first place in two events, one in Warzone, one in Vanguard. 2021 on land, he brought home 48750 bucks from three tournaments, 4.11% of the total prize money. Not bringing home any first places on land that year in Black Ops Cold War. 2022 online, he brought home $2,500 from one tournament and that was 0.21% of the total prize pool. 2022 on land he brought home $115,000 from six tournaments, 9.69% of the total prize pool. They won their home major that year in the Carly Leagues. With that being said, Skump sits at six all-time top 100 console players. He has earned $1,186,505.35 and his highest paying game was Infinite Warfare where he earned $261,250. Last in Crim6 Porter, otherwise known as Crim6. 2012 online, Crim6 earned 1500 from one tournament in the Machinima Frag Cup. Shout out you guys if you guys remember Machinima. He actually had one year prior on land playing Halo Reach before he switched to playing Black Ops 2 in 2012. And 2011, where he played Halo Reach, he earned 2400 from three tournaments. 2013 online, Crim6 earned $992 from three tournaments. First place three times. 2013 land, $58,500 from 10 tournaments. And that was 4.1% of the total prize while well, getting first place multiple times. 2014 online, Crim6 earned seven. 1650 bucks from 16 tournaments and that was 0.5% of the total prize pool. 2014 online, he got $117,403 from 7 tournaments, 8.28% of the total prize pool. A bunch of first places in Call of Duty Ghost, even his first Call of Duty Championship where he brought home $100,000. 2015 online, Crim6 earned $9,891.25 from 30 tournaments and that was 0.7% of the total prize pools. A bunch of first places in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, just bringing home first places after first places. 2015 on land, Crim6 earned $89,000 from 14 tournaments, and that was 6.28% of the total prize pool. Once again, bringing first places at the end and the start of the year. His highest earning event on land was the MLG World Finals, earned $25,000 playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. 2016 online, he brought home $7,550 from four tournaments, and that was 0.53% of the total prize money. And 2016 on land, he brought home $65,539.38 from nine tournaments, and that was 4.62% of the total prize pool, bringing home multiple first places in Black Ops. 2017 online he brought home 2250 bucks from six tournaments and that was 0.16 percent of the total prize money literally switched games mid-season 2017 on land crim6 brought home 267,250 bucks from eight tournaments and that was 18.86 percent of the total prize pool getting four first places and another cwl championship playing call of duty infinite warfare 2018 online crim6 earned 2908 bucks from seven tournaments and that was 0.21 percent of the total prize pool didn't get anything lower than first and anything online played in 2018 very commendable on land in 2018 he earned 69,875 bucks from seven tournaments and that was 4.93 percent of the total prize pool the only event on land he got first that year was the cwl las vegas open where he earned twenty thousand dollars playing black ops 4 2019 online he earned nine thousand four hundred bucks from three tournaments and that was 0.66 percent of the total prize pool getting three first places and 2019 on land he brought home 76,625 bucks from six tournaments and that was 5.41 percent of the total prize pool and he got first through second in the CWL Pro League where he brought home $16,875 bucks playing Black Ops 4. 2020 online he brought home $352,200 bucks from 15 tournaments, 24.85% of the prize pool, almost a quarter percent of the prize pool. 2020 on land he brought home $16,000 from two tournaments and that was 1.13% of the total prize pool that year, bringing home $10,000 playing Mono Repair on land. 2021 online he brought home $59,933.33 from nine tournaments and that was 4.23% of the total prize pool. 2021 on land, he brought home 115000 from three tournaments, 8.12% of the total prize money. Highest earning event was the championship that year. Even though he didn't get first, he brought home $75,000 playing Black Ops Cold War. 2022 online, he brought home $9,000 from three tournaments. That was 0.64% of the total prize pool. Two first places home in Call of Duty Vanguard online. And 2022 on land, he brought home 75000 three tournaments, and that was 5.29% of the total prize money earned. His highest earned event.
Dade Sport Major where he placed second. The event where he placed first at that year, 2022, was the Pro Am Classic where he earned $25,000 playing Call of Duty Vanguard. That leaves Crim6 number two in the top 100 council players of all time at $1,417,092.80 and his highest earning game was Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Subscribe to my channel, Tinker Tart 1, for more esports salary breakdowns and analysis in the world of esports.